It is currently November 29th and I still do not have a tree in my household. Today I'm going to be having the ultimate Christmas preparation day. I need to decorate my house, get the tree, get in the Christmas mood and do the Christmas festivities because it cannot be December 1st and not have a tree or not have my room decorated. So I'm going to take you guys along my day where I do all the Christmas festivities starting off by going and cutting a tree down because this year we're going to get a natural tree. It's currently 1126. My family is so mad at me. They're in the car waiting for me because I've been taking so long. If you like this video, please subscribe. Leave a comment down below when you normally put up your tree and let's just get right into it. Okay, change of plans. My family just ditched me. I'm in the car alone. We were gonna go to this Christmas market that had waffles and like trees and like all this stuff, but plans have changed. Step one in this video has already slightly failed. Apparently they're not having it. I think it's because of COVID restrictions, but anyways, we're just gonna have breakfast at IHOP if anyone knows where that is. And then we're gonna grab our Christmas tree from Ikea. I don't know if anyone has done that before, but they literally have trees that you can buy there. So I'm hoping I can take like some cute pictures. Although since it's an Ikea, I don't really know if I will be able to. Our breakfast is done. We're going to a Michael store. It's like a craft store, but I think they have a bunch of Christmas decorations. So we're going to see what we can find. Hoping that when it like opens up it actually like gets all puffy and then we'll decorate it and make it fluffy and just Christmassy because honestly it's looking like a stick right now. But anyways, my cat's outside. He's just chilling. He likes being outside. Left a big mess. We're gonna have to clean that up. Before we leave to go back out, I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I bought from Michaels because I bought quite a bit. Starting off by these cute accessories. Like, come on, tell me this isn't adorable. I have a cute little reindeer ears and I have a Santa hat because I didn't have one and I feel like it's it's just iconic. Is it cute? <laughs> Oh my god, it's actually not cute. Oh my god, my cat is like attacking me right now. I was actually with my mom, so she bought both of these things. But the first one is this little crate with a Christmas tree. So we're going to put our remote controls in there for the TV. And then there is this little crate that is going to be for towels. Yeah, I literally, like, what is the problem, bro? What's wrong? He so wants to fight me right now. Get off. Get off. I don't know what the name of this flower is, but it's just the classic Christmas flower. And then I bought one of these little elves on the shelf. This is obviously not the real one. I never had an elf on the shelf before. You can comment down below if you did. My family's Mexican, and I'm pretty sure this isn't something that you do in Mexico. So I never had one. And you know what? I'm a little bit jealous of the people that did, but it's just a little like stuffy, and I'm just gonna probably put it in my room or do something cute with it. Lastly, I bought a little Christmas tree for my room. Got some little like acorns on it, and it's just like this. And to decorate it, I got some of these little ornaments. I think these other things are just little like styrofoam balls that I can squish in there. I'll meet you guys in the car. Hello guys, I got a mini tripod. It's looking kind of cute, but I'm definitely probably not gonna be able to drive at the same time because it's not stable at all. Starting off by going to Starbucks, I'm not actually sure what drink to get there and the lineup is like super long always. So I might just have to decide what I'm doing when I'm there. I'm just gonna take a picture and send it to my friends and see what they think. It's kind of a bad picture, but what are some good holiday Starbucks drinks. I'm gonna send it to like all my friends and see what they reply with and then we'll go from there. Next thing we're gonna do is turn on my car. Unfortunately, I have a really... I have a really bad speaker system like for some reason it doesn't work for me to like aux on it like play my own music and like the radio is kind of bad so i'm gonna try to figure out what the christmas radio station because i want to listen to some christmas music okay it's 103.5 see if we can find that and if not i'll be really sad not trying to get copyrighted so i'm not gonna play that while you guys are on here but i am gonna listen to that and i'm gonna enjoy it and i'm gonna go all the way to starbucks and i'll meet you guys there in a second i'll see if i can vlog with this i won't be able to but we're just gonna try and see whoa 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 okay i love like reversing when i am crooked you know yeah this is yeah, this is absolutely not gonna work. I'm having difficulties deciding what I want because I don't really like coffee. I literally had to search up on my phone what the difference was between a latte and a mocha. So far, my friends have said to get a chestnut praline or I think it was a peppermint mocha. Or there was another one, but I don't know what I want. 
I think I'm gonna ask for a chestnut praline just because I feel like I've heard that name a lot, but I'm gonna get a grande just because it's very likely that I won't like it. Oh, oh my god, I literally almost just broke my camera. Hi, can I get a grande chestnut praline latte, please? That is a grande of the chestnut praline latte, correct? That one, yeah. Is it possible to have like less coffee in it? Less coffee? Yeah. Yeah, we can do a single shot if you like. Yeah, that's good. Could I also have a cranberry bliss bar, please? Thank All right, you. Uh, thank you. Yee! Okay. So we've got one shot of espresso, hopefully that's good. It's probably gonna be so sweet that it won't even like taste like coffee. Okay, I'm really, like everyone's watching me right now and I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm gonna pay, I'm kind of angry because my friend just told me that I could have a chai eggnog and that sounds so much better. That would have been a cold drink. I actually am obsessed with chai. Everything about that could have been better, but it's not happening, I guess. <laughs> Hello. I love your nails. So oh, thank you. Single there. Thank you so much. Oh, that made me so happy. That was sweet. The guy complimented my nails. Okay, that was literally brutal. I parked in the parking lot and the guy beside me, he had his car on, so I thought he was gonna leave, but he just never left. He just had his car on and he was just staring at me. So I was like, hey, I'm not gonna whip out my camera. And I literally made eye contact with him like five times because he wouldn't stop staring at me. So then I moved spots and I went to a different spot, but then I couldn't park there because I'm a bad, actually, I'm actually not a bad parker, but for some reason I just couldn't park in that area. But anyways, I found a new spot. We're gonna do a little taste test. I already took a bite out of this food thing that I bought because I couldn't resist. Mmm, but it's so good. It just tastes like cream cheese and cranberries and just like, oh, so good. But it's really sweet. I'm glad I kind of waited to try this drink because it's still so hot and I'm really bad at drinking hot drinks. So if I drank it like right when I got out of Starbucks, I wouldn't have been able to drink it. Let's open it up. I'm gonna have a little sniff, a little taste test moment. Okay. I mean, it smells like cinnamon, though. That's interesting. Also, I'm getting stared at by vlogging. Let's take a sip. It's actually really good. Eh, it tastes, it's okay. I don't really like coffee, and it's basically coffee, and I'm also not really a fan of hot drinks, and it's a hot drink, so it's okay. But anyways, I'm tired of being in this car. <laughs> I am literally sweating. This freaking sweater is so hot. It literally looks like it's freaking 9 p.m., but it's actually 4.45. Bought a lot of stuff, and I'm excited to use them all. I feel a lot more in the Christmas spirit after going to the mall, not gonna lie, because it's, like, decorated all nicely. Also, guys, I literally threw my whole Starbucks drink, like, in the garbage, basically, because I didn't really like it, and it was so annoying to have to carry around the mall, especially when I can't even, like, drink it because of my mask. So, that was kind of a waste of $6, but I still have my bar. It's like somewhere down there. I just came home and I'm so excited. Look at my Christmas tree. I'm really trying hard not to expose my house too much, but seeing the Christmas tree from the window is just too good of a feeling. And this thing right here, so cute, love it. We are definitely missing the Christmas lights outside though. I don't think they're put up yet. I think my parents might do it tomorrow. I don't know if I'll get it in this video, but those need to be up. Otherwise, we're not fully in the Christmas spirit. Guys, look at the tree. I'm so excited. My mom's put some Christmas decorations up, but not really most of them yet. So I'll definitely do a montage of me actually setting up the house for Christmas. I'm gonna quickly show you guys the things that I got at the mall. I got a of pajamas it's just a plaid like gray set i'm gonna wear this tonight and i guess for the rest of december so i feel extra christmasy the next thing i got was a kinder mix advent calendar advent calendars are a necessity i feel like i only started getting them like two years ago even though i kind of missed out on that probably in my childhood or maybe i had some sometimes i don't know but it was never a big thing in my house so i am excited about this one i had this one last year and it's really good so if you're looking for one this year i highly recommend a kinder one moving on i went to our deans and i didn't really need this but <laughs> i brought three sets of fuzzy socks because it was three for 15 and each one came with two. First one has a little snowman on it and like candy cane in the back. This one has a little like cat. I don't really know what that is. And then the back is just green. And then the last one has a little reindeer and then some like snowflakes. And then guys, I couldn't resist. I could not resist. I went to the dollar store and got some costumes for my cat. And you know what? I kind of forgot to get one for my dog. I apologize, Lilo. I will go back to the dollar store and get her one another day. But look at how cute this is. Come on. I needed it. Needed it. And then since that one probably not gonna work out, I felt like this was one that he could actually stick with. Lastly, at Walmart, you saw me buy this. I got some eggnog and some of these classic Pillsbury sugar cookies. So we're definitely gonna make some of those tonight. But as for right now, I'm gonna have dinner and then we'll start decorating after that. Feel pretty 
cute, not gonna lie. I actually really like the way these pajamas fit. I'm going to play some Christmas music and you're gonna see a little montage of me setting up all the decorations around my house. <laughs> Mishu, you're gonna like it. Oh, you look so cute. So that was the best we can do, and it still looks bad, but it's so cute if only he actually... It has been a few hours to say the least. I got ready in my new Christmas outfit because unfortunately I'm still wearing my PJ bottoms but I stained the top in the first like three hours of having it so I'm not gonna wear it. I gave you a little montage of what my house looks like right now but I'm gonna show you quickly how we just decorated the living room and the kitchen and then we've got so many fun Christmas activities that we need to do. First of all look at this blanket that we just got. So warm, so comfortable. I'll definitely be sleeping with this tonight. First of all we've got some background Christmas music because obviously it adds to the vibe. We've got some cute little stockings. This one's for my dog. We really need one for my cat and then we've got a little basket there with the blankets that we just bought we also put some garland on top of this window we also ended up putting the remote controls in this little basket and we've got this cute little reindeer and as for my kitchen first of all check out this light so adorable very cute and then we've got the little christmas tree that i set up and for the best part i really need to show you this because honestly my mom did a good job at making the cutest little hot chocolate setup look at how cute this is and of course the little santa mug matches perfectly with everything else little santa here with some sugar We've got some hot chocolate packages and some coffee. We've got some marshmallows, some more coffee down there, candy canes, some of these little wafer sticks, and then I don't know what these are. I've never tried them before, but they're little like chocolate chips, I guess. I don't really know. Definitely making some of that later. But to start off this Christmas kitchen segment, we've got to pull out the Pillsbury cookies. Now these are the Christmas tree Pillsbury ready to bake sugar cookies, and these are really good if you haven't tried them, although I'm sure you have because like I feel like they're really popular. Already preheated the oven, so we're just gonna pop them on a pan, and then we'll just put them right in. As we wait for the cookies, I'm gonna put on Michu his little neck thing. I don't know if he's gonna like it, but he's gonna be in the Christmas spirit with us. Oh my god, he's bae. Let's take a thumbnail. I think we're gonna make the hot chocolate next and I do have this eggnog that we can try. I think I've tried it before, but I haven't had it in a long time so I'm excited to do some of this, but I think I'm gonna eat this with my cookies. So I'll wait till they cool down a little bit and then we'll have some of this. But in the meantime, let's just make our hot chocolate. If this isn't the perfect hot chocolate, I literally don't know what is. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit extra. My hot chocolate is like so melted now. Switch them over to this plate. It's a little more festive, but let's take the first bite. Very good. Almost a little bit too crunchy, which I don't know why, because they said put it for 10 to 12 minutes, and I put it in for 10, but it's still crunchy. So I don't really know what happened there. My little candy cane steak is probably like, look at it, it's melted. return to my room now I brought my little cup my whole family is in the kitchen so I'm just not gonna film in there right now I literally brought my whole eggnog thing and I'm only gonna put a little bit we're gonna open this I don't know if you guys have tried eggnog before you can comment down below I haven't had it in so long I'm only gonna have a little sip because I feel like I don't know if it's something that you drink on its own but I feel like it's so thick and like rich that it's kind of hard to drink on its own I got a little bit in here have a little taste test it smells super sweet Mm, it's actually really good. It tastes like candy cane. I don't know if that's just this one or if that's like what they taste like. I'm gonna put on a movie right now. I'm not sure which one I want to watch. I'm really excited because apparently we're on Netflix and the new animated Grinch movie is coming out this Saturday. So I'll definitely be watching that. I'm gonna search up on Disney Plus if there's anything for me to watch. 
Okay, I'm gonna watch Christmas with the Cranks as my finishing Christmas activity of the day. I highly recommend if you haven't gotten in the Christmas spirit yet, you gotta do it. You really do. And just a little update for those of you that have stayed up to this point in the video. I'm not gonna be doing Vlogmas this year because I have a lot of finals coming up and me and school right now are just not the bestest of friends. So I do need to focus more on that. Although I have a bunch of videos planned for December and if all goes well, I'm hoping to post like twice a week. If you're still watching up to this point in the video, comment this emoji so I know that you stayed and make sure you like this video subscribe comment anything down below it helps my channel grow and if you want to follow my Instagram it's gonna be right here as well I'll talk to you guys very shortly